Hello everyone, welcome to Titan Walk Tutorials. In this video we will review the handle multiple matches in the Salesforce scan. So this is our demo project here and um, let me take you straight to the Salesforce scan. Alright, so we, we have a get here set up to get products and we're running it on load and we have here under the get if there are multiple matches pull then we can do up to a number of records which means if our condition returns more than one record we want to return all of them to our mappings or we want to always return first record last record or skip and the skip we have a skip message for it we've shown in a separate video how to set it when the data is skipped you can show it was skipped that you can show it to the user. Um, so when you return multiple records, you want to work with a strip, with a repeated strip. I'll show you that in just a second. Or you can always return first or last record. And it really depends on your condition. So for instance, in, in, in our get, it's very possible for me to get more than one. And I do want to return all of them since I'm using a repeated strip and I want to, uh, and I want to show a list of my products so this is perfectly fine but if your condition will be something like product id equals a product id then you would want to use either first or last record now the first and last record depends on your sort order so let's say if you have more than one and you want to get the last one created then you want to sort it by created date and descending and then you're getting the last one or you can use the opposite last instead of first etc so that's the first and last so let's see this in action so right now we're getting up to 20 records and let's take a look our, at our page where we're mapping it to so we're mapping it into the product catalog page and here we have our repeated strip so it knows to work with multiple products multiple results from salesforce so let's take a look at this and I'll run the product catalog and we have a bunch of results. Now if I'll head back and let's configure the integration again Salesforce get and I'll say return only first record and I'll publish this. There we have it, just one, and again, I can use last, it's just gonna return the last one according to the sort order. Uh, so let's just show the skip. So let's say if we have more than one match, then just skip it, and let's put a, let's put a skip message, and we'll hit apply. and we'll go back to the product catalog and there we go it skipped since it returned more than one record and this is how it's done